Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? Um, this is going to be a Temu haul. And these are items that I purchased on my own, my, my own purchase. I do work with Temu, but I'm not working with them for this haul. I do have another um, Temu haul that I have to record. I got a big old box right here. Plus I have another bag heading my way. So I have lots of goodies. So let me go ahead and just get into this, okay? Well, I saw this little clock and this was $8.99. I thought it was going to be bigger, but it's not, but it's still cute. So the clock looks like this and they had three different variations, right? That it looks like a watch. See that? So the first thing that I noticed was, you know, I just need to put a little, you know, put a little bit more tint right there and maybe a little bit down here. There's like a little stripe right there, but it kind of looks vintage -y. But right here, I'm going to tighten that up myself. But I think this is a really cute, vintage-looking, cool-looking um, wooden clock. You just put your battery back there, and it'll actually work. Now, you can hang this on a wall just like this, or you could put it on a table like so. And it'll sit like this. And it could be part of your home decor. See that? That's pretty cool looking, right? Yeah. So you have a couple of options of how you want to do it. There you go. And it had three different styles. I paid $8.99 for this. Sometimes the price will be a little higher, be a little bit lower, depending if it's on sale or not. You know, they have their little sales that they have all the time. Then the next item is a, um, I wrote it down. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This was a carpet for my stairs, non-slip, $3.99. Okay, so she looks like this. And we have the very first step as soon as you get on our stairs. It's, you know, it's a little wider and it's painted white and it's really hard to keep it looking white <laughs> with a house full of boys. So I decided to get this carpet. Let me show you this carpet. Now, as you can tell, can you see that? It has like the little, there you go. So it looks like that. But the interesting thing about this is that you can cut this according to size and it has a sticky back. So it's not going to shift and move after you put it down and it'll just sit there. You won't have no muss, no fuss, no problems. So I ordered that. So this was $3.99. Let me mark this off here so I don't repeat myself. Then I picked up this tile, this one roll of tile. Um, this was $1.68. I'm sorry, I have one of my little Coastal Bay hard candies in my mouth. <laughs> it's so good. I think I have lemon. It tastes really good. Let me open this up so you can see it. Now, the reason why I bought it, first I wanted to see what it looked like in person. Because I was thinking about putting it on the back of my steps. Yeah. You know how you how you step like this? And then here's your step. Here's the back of it. You know, it's like, it's like you know, like that. And then there's the next step. So I was thinking about putting it there. Because I thought it looked kind of cool. But let's take a look at it. That's why I only bought one roll because I didn't know how it was going to look. So here we go. So she looks like this and it does have a sticky back to it. Okay. So it looks like that. Now for one roll, you don't get that much. I'm going to keep on unrolling it so you can see how much you actually get. There you go. That's all you get. So if I were to use this on the back of my stairs, like the way that I want, I would need just for my front steps, um, several, several, several rolls to do this. So it's kind of cute. I'm going to maybe put it on the back and see what it looks like because I have a pair of stairs that goes like this. And then I have a pair of stairs that go up on the side. So I have two stairs to go upstairs. Um, into my home, into my upstairs, I should say. No. I'm getting all tongue-tied. 
All right. Next item. I got some lace. Let me see if I can find the lace. Mm. Three yards of lace, two dollars and eight cents. As you guys tell, I'm a miniaturist. I do doll, I do have doll houses. I have I have several doll houses. And I'm always looking for lace for curtains, for beds, for comforters. And I thought that this was really pretty, so I bought this one. And I really like the detail. And it's supposed to have three yards, so it's supposed to be three. One two three actually it's a little bit more than three closer to three and a half that's a very good buy for this beautiful lace for two dollars and eight cents i'll put this one right there okay so we did the lace the next thing i got these little wall mirrors they're a dollar and eight cents and they're little tiny mirrors and you just take off that little part in the front that makes it look dull and then it's an actual mirror and it looks like it has a sticky back as well i wanted to use this for my dollhouse miniatures so i got that pack that was a dollar and 18 cents all right next thing i got a hair clip this was a dollar and nine cents i really love this tiny brown color and it is very strong very strong it has a good grip so I got that for a dollar nine cents. Then I got a biscuit cutter, and she looks like that. Very pretty. See that? You see that look biscuit cutter? So this biscuit cutter was two dollars and sixty nine cents. And so I wanted a biscuit cutter. There we go for my kitchen then um i got what they call a corner bracket and it looks like that let me show you these are a dollar 48 cents you do get the nails you get the nails and these are the brackets and they're called corner brackets and i know i do mixed media so I think this this would be a really cool thing to add to my um to my junk journal. Again, these are a dollar. They had a lot of really cool stuff you could use, use for a junk journal if you like to do mixed media. Um, these were a dollar forty eight cents when I paid for them. Okay, the next one. These are really cool um, mushroom stickers, and these are a dollar nineteen cents. A dollar nineteen cents mushroom stickers, and I'll take them out so you guys can see it. Does it have a little foldy thing here at the bottom? No, it does not. Hmm, it's called the story in the bag. Now I know they did have um, other other variations of this that you could choose from. So it looks like this. This is what you get. The first things that you get are these, the different bottles. They're all acetate, okay? So we got all these pretty bottles. Okay, and they're all acetate. Oh, my nose is itchy. Ugh. My allergies are like off the chain and I forgot to take my pill this morning. Ugh. I'm sorry. Ugh. It was so windy yesterday. It was like 50 mile per hour winds and all that pollen. Oh my gosh. It's killing me. Even my eyes are watery. Ugh. Even my eyes are watery. But I want to show you. Oh my gosh. They're falling everywhere. <laughs> They're falling everywhere. I wanted to show you some of the cute mushrooms. So it's different variations of mushrooms that you would get. Very cool looking. Very cute. Um, this is just adorable. So I want to make sure I don't lose those. Okay, put that right there. All right, so that was a dollar. And how much was it, you guys? I just said it. 
I can hear you guys saying it. Dollar nineteen cents. Okay. And then I got this retro wallpaper. These were three dollars and ninety eight cents. I did get three. I was very bold in getting three um, because I thought to myself, I could put this in the back of my steps too. So let's take a peek at them. This is called a retro, but you could put this in front of furniture. I could put this on top of here if I wanted to. You could put this anywhere um, in front of like an old out of date shelf, you know, and just make it look cooler. So let's just see what it looks like because it looked really cool online, but you know, what it is online versus what it is when you get it in person sometimes are two different things. So let's open let's open this baby up just for that purpose. Okay, so this is all right. So the paper, so this plastic goes a little bit in the inside. I have to be very careful. It actually goes through the inside. I already started tearing some of it up. That ain't good. Okay, I'm trying to trying to do this so it won't tear anymore. There we go. I thought I was going to be able just to roll it on out. Mm -mm. No hunty. Okay, so here we go. So this is what she looks like. This is the back. So it does have a self-adhesive, okay? This is the front. So you can use it like this, you can use it like that, or you can use it like that, whichever way you want to rock it. Um, I see it comes kind of wrinkled. At least this one is very wrinkled. The other two might not be as wrinkled as this one. So I'm wondering how well it will fare once I take it out from the backing. Let me see this real quick. Because now I'm just curious because this one is so wrinkled. Um, sometimes you can, the wrinkles will come right out, but sometimes they won't. Let me see. Oh yeah, that wrinkle's in there. Yeah, that wrinkle's not going to come out. Okay. That wrinkle's not going to come out. The adhesive is nice. But this particular piece is really wrinkled throughout the whole thing. And those wrinkles are going to be an obstacle. So I'm hoping and I'm praying that the other two, you know, I'll, I'll reach out to them about this one. And so I'm hoping and I'm praying that these other two don't have the wrinkles I don't see any wrinkles or feel any in these two, but I will, un like this one's bent and I can see a little bit wrinkles here. Yeah, because once those wrinkles are in there, the paper just won't stretch out again. Okay. Next. Uh, I got a purse. So I got this purse. This is expensive. This was $35.99. It comes with a dust bag. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's totally me. <laughs> As you can tell, anything that's different and sparkles, anything that, you know, honey. Mm -hmm. So this is blue jean. And again, it's $35. At least when I got it, it was $35.99. And she looks like that. So this is the first time I'm looking at it right along with you. So this is a purse that has all this bling. I wish the lighting was better so you could see this bling, honey, because this bling is amazing. Can you see the bling better now? It is shining like no one's business here. It does have the gold hardware. Gold hardware. Nice one here. You turn it around, has a zippered back pocket. Let's see. Nice and big. I love the color of the blue jean. I like how it has the variations on it. There we go. Let's look at the inside. I love the fact, let's see. Oh, I love the fact that the handles go down. 
I cannot stand a purse that the handles don't go down because if I wear it as a shoulder bag and the handles are sticking up, they'll go right underneath my arm. Love that. Okay, this is beautiful. So we have a gold hardware right here. And it does come with the shoulder strap. Brown interior. Can you see that interior? It is brown. And um, it's very spacious. It does have a zipper compartment here. Nice and big. And then two pockets here on the inside. Right here and right here. Zippered compartment. Let me open it up. I keep going the opposite direction. Right here. Nice and big. So this is a very pretty, pretty purse. And I love how it has the matching hardware. And the way that it is built... Do you see how this is built? It's going to withstand me because <laughs> I'm not easy on my purses. I am not. This is going to withstand me. So I'm really excited. So again, this one's $35 and 99 cents. Um, it might be cheaper. It might be a little higher now. I don't know. That's just what I paid for at the time of my purchase. And it is cute, and I like the fact that it does come with a dust bag. Very thoughtful. I do have another purse to share with you. This one was on sale. Okay, I want to make sure my thing doesn't fall over. Okay, so this purse here that I'm going to talk about is $12.59. And it's still on sale because I, I came across it again. It comes in its own dust bag. And she looks like this. So it has like these imprints of letters. Do you see that? It has the imprints of letters. Then if you, if you open her up and spread it out, it does have the little, the little foot stands here. So it's a, a nice wide purse, as you can tell. It does have the shoulder strap. It has a red handle if you want to use the handle. Okay, a pocket, then you have two compartments. You got one here on the side, one here on this side, and then you have this here in the middle. Okay, you have the thing in the middle. Now, I'm not into the thing in the middle. I like to have like a big wide compartment um, just to mess around with all my stuff. And I can tell this, this purse is definitely... $12.99. The quality is indicative to it. Um, I don't think this is going to last too long for me. Uh, I like to use it for weighty things. And I can see this coming out from here, you know, after a while, just because of my experience with a cheaper bag. Um, the strap, which I will be using, um, after a while, I could see that being an issue. So uh, for $12 and 59 cents, it's a cute bag. It's a cute bag, but I, I can't honestly recommend it. I can't because that bag that I just shared with you, the blue jean bag, that's a high end bag. That's quality right there. You can feel it. It's in the fabrics and the materials. That is the bag that's going to last you years and years and years. This one, maybe one season. You can look at it and tell. It's a one season bag if you're very light on it and don't carry anything heavy. And you're very light on your bags. Very light. You don't carry your world with you. I'm just saying. I just want to be honest about it. Um, but I think it's really cute. What I might end up doing, honestly, is I'm not going to use it to go out. I think I'm going to keep it to put my magazines that I want to read next to my purse, next to my um, chair in my bedroom, and line up my dollhouse miniature magazines because I have American miniatures that fit there and my dollhouse miniatures that'll fit there. And I could just pull them out to read and I'll use that as a holder. I'm just being honest. That's what I'm going to use it for. It's not going to last me. It's not. It can't take this. 
this blue jean one yes yes this is high much higher quality this is a good handbag i recommend this this yes 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 the 35.99 but they always say you know you get what you pay for you do you get what you pay for put her right there she's gorgeous if you see it in person uh, okay then i did get two 50 count fabric squares for a dollar 79 each and this is what they look like and they have different materials in them i should say different um designs it's material it's fabric designs i mean designs so these are some of the designs that you could find in there so i figured i could use these for my dollhouse miniatures little little you know when you're trying to fill in the back of a of a dresser or something you know what i mean or of a kitchen scene like a, like a little hutch you can use these little fabrics very easily very easily and look look at that one and then that one again same price just different different types of fabrics different variables and you can use this for your um making cards mixed media using fabrics and changing them up putting stamps using your paints so these are great for lots of different things honestly but i got them for dollhouse miniatures but i can see now some of them would work really well with my mixed media so that is everything for this haul believe it or not that is all so thank you so much for coming by i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm going to check out my two other rolls see if they have any wrinkles all right bye